Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark on Ragnarok, and uh, today there is a massive S Plus update, which I thought we might check out. Uh, there is just a ton of new stuff. S Plus hasn't really updated for a little while, and they updated today, and there's some really exciting stuff. Seriously, like they're they these guys like completely just come out with the type of stuff that people would want in Ark, and it's crazy. Uh, so let me just open up my inventory for a second here. So, we have a bunch of new turrets, six new turrets in total, which is kind of crazy. I mean, this is like stepping into like modded territory, but like some of these things we could actually do with in actual like vanilla arc. Like a freaking ballista turret, it like automatically fires like ballistas, which is cool. Uh, we got a cannon one, we've got a flamethrower one, which I'm really excited to check out. Uh, we've got a minigun one, and I think it's kind of just like a bit of a variation to the uh, normal turret that we have in the game. We've got a Trank turret, which is kind of interesting. Not really one I would have, I guess, went with, but uh, pretty cool anyway. And we got a Rocket turret, so like, there's so much new stuff here. Um, and then there's also like a bunch of other things here as well, which we're gonna check out. And uh, this is something I'm very excited for. We're gonna talk about this in a minute. Um, but yes, uh, let's let's begin here. So guys, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. It really does help me out. I do want to mention I am kind of a little bit sick right now, so I might sound a little bit odd. Uh, yeah, not doing too great. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna power through. So the first thing which I really like is uh, is this new little utility gun. Um, it's kind of, it's it's something that really suits me. Um, it's a euthanasia gun. <laughs> you can use this to kill creatures. Your creatures. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this wyvern because I don't need this anymore. I really don't. Like, I'm gonna get rid of all these wyverns here besides that one up there, the mutated ones. Um, because we don't need them. And I don't want them taking up space or frames in the base. We already have enough rexes. So uh, apparently you have to hit, like, right click. Okay, uh, dino mark for death and then left click. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, I get it. It uh, it just does a huge amount of damage. Interesting. It did like 9k? Huh. Let's do it again. There we go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, uh, apparently it does an instant kill, which I thought it would. That's... <laughs> That's kind of mean. I thought it would, uh, I thought it would just instant kill them. Apparently it doesn't. Did that hurt you? There we go. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of mean. But, uh, obviously this would instant kill, like, a baby or something, so that's gonna solve our issue. Um, you know, it's painless. We don't, like, do anything bad to them. They just die immediately. It's great. <laughs> So, that is the euthanasia gun. It's really awesome. Um, I'm really happy that they actually added this. That's such a cool idea. I wouldn't even thought of that. Like, I'd, I'd be wasting bullets this whole time. I could have been doing this, you know? Oh, man. Anyway, uh, so another thing that they have is, and I actually had to spawn this in because I'm not even allowed to get this until we beat all the bosses, but uh, Tech ATV. Uh, we're just going to check it out, and I'm going to drop it on the ground. It's very heavy. So... Their variation, this is like an actual thing in Ark, by the way, if you didn't realize, uh, you can only unlock it in single player right now, and you do it by beating the tech cave, I believe. Uh, so, this is like a vehicle in Ark. Um, oh, it's very loud, though. I think it might be too loud. Um, so you can kind of, like, drive it around. It seems like the wheel animations are a little bit messed up. Alright, I guess that's probably a bug right now, probably. Uh, but they actually work in the proper version, but uh, their version actually has an inventory, which is pretty interesting, and it has a hundred weight, is that it? It doesn't seem to be going up. Huh. Maybe it has, like, more than 100? I don't know. That's weird. Right, let me just take all these back. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that off really quick. Apparently, you can also pick it up. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, it has all the other options of the actual tech ATV. It keeps moving for some reason. Does it work with the demo gun? No, it apparently it doesn't. I've just picked up a foundation. That's great. Uh, okay, let's let's try to... Let me go on the other side, because it keeps freaking moving. Alright. What is happening? Stop! <laughs> oh, God. Can I just break it? It has a health. Alright, let's just... It's gonna take ages to pick this thing up. But, uh, yeah, that is the tech ATV. Uh, we're gonna drop this at the ground. <laughs> oh my god. It's so glitchy. 
But uh, in normal arc, I believe that thing is pretty solid right now. I think it's still pretty loud, but uh, yeah, I, I think it works otherwise. So yeah, that is an, another pretty cool thing. Uh, they they just took the normal tech ATV from Ark and, and basically just gave it some extra bits like the inventory and the ability to pick it up. So that makes it a little bit easier because you can drive it to places, pick it up, and hop on a dyno or something. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's check out some other stuff here. So this is what I'm really excited about. This is called a hitching post. It's basically like a, a fence foundation and uh, apparently you can kind of attach dynos to it. Do I go from the inventory? Oh yeah, look right there. Whoa, what the hell? Why is there like, where is that going? Oh no, it's the same rope. Oh, okay. So <laughs> apparently the animation's a little bit weird right now, but uh, supposedly they're not able to wander away if they are on wander. Oh, they don't even move at all. <gasps> oh, that is cool. Can I still breed when the creatures, like, can these creatures breed when they're attached to this? Let me go and check that out. I really want to see. Let's go over here to my hyenodons, I guess. Uh, so we need a male and a female. There we go. Charlie and Bravo. Uh, let's choke that down there. Uh, let's uh, attach you. And attach you. Oh, yeah, actually, that's another thing. How many creatures can you get attached to this thing? Look at that. We got two creatures attached. Uh, can they still breathe, though? If they can, this is going to be a game changer for me. Oh, no way. That's awesome. So I can have creatures breeding while attached to this, and I don't have to create, like, tons and tons of pens and stuff. That is so handy. Wow. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> that is, that's awesome. I love that. Let's take that away. Did I, I turn you off of Wander, didn't I? Okay, great. So yeah, that is the hitching post. That is a very interesting thing. I like the fact that you could actually like attach to the creatures and have the breeding anyway. Um, that just makes it a whole lot better. But uh, the hitching post, holy crap. I'm gonna be using this thing a lot for sure. Uh, I think I put you on Wander, didn't I? No, I turned you off, okay, cool. Uh, so what else do we have in here? Uh, oh, no, apparently he is on Wander. Where is he? What? Oh no, he's on follow. There we go. Uh, so what else do we have? Uh, oh yes, the S plus nanny. So, oh, okay, so you can put preserving salt in there too. Interesting. So apparently this, uh, wait, what does it do? Will raise imprinting value of nearby adult creatures. What? So it imprints creatures as well? That is a little bit weird. So apparently this thing, like, feeds babies. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna start breeding right now to actually test this out. But, uh, so, like, it doesn't say anything about putting food in here. It's just, like, a, it's just basically a machine. You just power it on, I guess, feed it honey to have it working, and it's essentially just going to feed creatures, like, your baby creatures that are nearby. Um, it sounds pretty awesome, but, uh, I don't know if you have to, like, do anything else to it, like, so it imprints on them as well. I don't know if, uh, hmm. That's a little bit weird. I don't know how I feel about the fact that it imprints. That's a little bit odd. Um, I, 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 it's a little bit cheaty, I guess. It does cost honey, which is pretty hard to get a lot of, but still. Hmm. I don't know. I like the fact that it feeds them. It takes away from having to, like, run around all the time. But uh, the fact that it imprints them is a little bit... It's kind of pushing it a little bit too far. I don't know how I feel about that. What do you guys think about this? Would you use this? Would you want me to use this? Uh, let me know down below. Let me put my foundation back. There it is over there. <laughs> there we go. All right, so uh, yeah, that is the S plus nanny. It sounds like a really cool contraption to be honest, but like the fact that it imprints is a little bit like pushing it a little bit too far. Now, I don't know if it, you'd actually need to put in kibble to imprint them with kibble or whatever. I don't know, but um, more, it would take like far too long to try to set this up correctly and everything. And uh, But we're just gonna take its word for what it does. Um, because we have a lot of other stuff to show off. So, uh, let's hop in here really quick. Um, because we've got quite a lot of stuff in here. So, we've first of all, we've got this over here. This is, what do you call this? The animal tender. So, this thing basically collects different items. I think if I hold down, yeah, we should be able to see in here. So we can collect up a bunch of items from nearby creatures like Akatina paste, uh, organic polymer as well. Uh, it can grab the Tuso oil and it can grab the oil from the dung beetles. So it's pretty cool the fact that it can do that. I mean, it would be kind of handy to have this thing around. We already have something. Oh wait, no, that pulls it from the inventory, doesn't it? Yeah, because this thing here can pick up the Akatina paste off of the ground. 
Why is this thing unpowered? This is working though, right? It is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this this thing can pretty much grab the items from the inventory. So like oil from uh, Tuso's, I assume Basilos as well, though it didn't say. Um, and then obviously the organic polymer and the Akatina paste and everything. So it's a pretty cool thing. I don't know if I actually have... I do have dung beetles, but they might be too far away. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's essentially just a bunny. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, like it's just having this aesthetically in your base would be pretty cool. It's just, it's, it's an Easter buddy, essentially. That is great, though. <laughs> so derpy. But, uh, yeah, so you feed it kibble, so it's pretty expensive to keep this thing going. Um, for sure, like, the fact that it costs kibble, like, that's, uh, I don't know, you'd need to have a pretty well set up base by the point, by the time you even get to, uh, using this thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm just feeding it Rex kibble, because we have so many Rexes. We probably have a bunch of Rex eggs in here, too. Yeah, look at this, it's crazy. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we grabbed the oil, I guess, from the, uh, from the dung beetles. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, another thing that we have over here, and I meant to actually prep to show this off really quick, so let me just, uh, grab some materials here. Let's create some foundations here. So, uh, wait, why am I going in there? So let's quickly just make up some normal, uh, wooden foundations. I guess a couple thatch as well, just to be sure. And we're gonna, oh, I can't move. I have too much stuff on me. <laughs> All right, so we have two new things to show off. I'll just explain them right now. One of them is a, a blueprint maker. So it works for structures only, not weapons. So you can essentially put a structure into the, um, into the crafting bench and you can make a blueprint for it. And then the other one is an S plus converter, so it converts normal uh, vanilla materials like the normal vanilla foundations into S plus foundations. So if you're trying to convert your base into S plus from normal, uh, you can actually use this new item to do so. And it looks pretty cool as well. Uh, so yeah, let's just chuck all these back here. Uh, I will keep that a little bit of thatch. Crap, I lost it. There, that will work. Um, let's put that back, put that back. Sweet. Okay. So they're over here. So this is the blueprint maker. So let me just chuck this in, chuck this in, convert to blueprint. Cool. Now I'm wondering if this works in the S plus material. So now let's check out the converter. So that's the blueprint maker. Pretty cool little, tiny little table with a, a little book in it. Pretty cool. And then this one here is a nice animation. So it turns from an S plus foundation to a normal foundation. It's pretty cool. Uh... Oh, you can do it back and forth. Oh, that is cool. So yeah, look, I have a S plus foundation now. Uh, where did that go? Yeah. Convert all. Wait, what? That one didn't go, though. Interesting. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be working. Wait, maybe if I do this now? I don't know. <laughs> What? I'm so confused. All right, well, apparently it's uh, a little bit busted right now. <laughs> Can I turn that back? Cool, so it works on the thatch ones anyway. It just doesn't work on wooden ones for some reason. All right, it's probably just a bug right now, but uh, the, the concept's there. You guys understand. Uh, so let me see if I can make a blueprint for this. Oh, you can. Interesting. Cool. So if you're a part of like a massive tribe, you gotta get one person to craft uh, one of these items and uh, he can make a blueprint for everybody. It's pretty cool. Um, I like it. I mean like, they're interesting. This thing would definitely be handy for people who are just adding S plus to their server. Uh, and then this thing here would just be handy for massive like tribes or something like that. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, have you gotten anything else? No, okay. So yeah, those are two brand new uh, crafting stations. I'm just gonna drop these. I don't need them. <laughs> so let's hop over here. And do I have anything else in here? No, let's check out the turrets now, I think. Yeah, let's check out the turrets. So let's run down here. We're gonna try to get a couple creatures up here as well. I'm like gonna pick up some creatures and bring them over. Um, but we're just gonna drop down all the turrets over here really quick. And also, crap, I need to grab a generator too. So uh, yeah, let's just drop them down and check them out really quick. That is my packy there, by the way. You're a kibble packy, aren't you? You tamed up. Perfect. Um, okay, so 
Let's check this out. So, Ballista Turret. Oh, that is cool. Uh, we got the Cannon Turret. I'm really excited for this one, actually. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, that would be really cool on, like, a giant pirate ship build or something. Flamethrower Turret. Oh, man. <laughs> Cool models for sure. This is the rocket turret. Nice. Uh, then we got the trank turret. Looks pretty similar to a normal turret. Then we got the other one, which is the minigun turret. Very nice. Okay, so these are all unpowered, so I need to grab a generator and everything. Also, I do want to mention, we're not going to be checking it out in full, but there is also a Plant Species plant species X turret, which uh, it says that it's supposed to have, like, the exact same uh, targeting things as the uh, tech turret, which has, like, you can choose to target, like, creatures between certain levels and all these things. It's very in-depth and everything, but it would take a while for one of those to grow and... Also, I don't really have, like, the fertilizer to spare for that. So, yeah, uh, we're going to be checking these out in a couple minutes. Let me just get the rest of the stuff ready, and we're going to set up and check these out. Okay, so I decided to move the turrets from up there and bring them down here instead to the swamp. And uh, let's just check them out here. So I want to try out the cannon turret first, I think. Let's drop this one down here. I have a generator, some gas, and everything on me. So we're probably going to be moving this generator a couple times. Just so we can have some, like, fresh creatures to try this on. And I need this. There we go. Okay. And then a piece of gas. Nice. Okay. So, actually, let me let me turn this off for a second. Let me just put in the cannons. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Okay, do we have to... Okay. We gotta switch this to wild creatures. Oh, whoa. It has a whole list of things that you can target. Interesting. <laughs> We're, uh... Ugh. No! Kill it! No! Alright. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so... Okay, you stay there. Um... Wait, did we switch this to wild creatures? No. Okay. Uh, is there any, like, quicker way of doing this? Um, okay, so wild creatures, except, oh, Jesus, <laughs> he just pointed it right at me. What? Oh, whoa. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, let's change the range on this thing. All right, let me drop in some more. Very expensive, but, uh, very effective. Did it even hit? No. Probably gonna be hard to hit, like, slowish creatures like those. Don't blow up my- oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> no! Ah! You kidding? That was a really cool looking frog, by the way. Um... All right, well, now I gotta go back up and grab some more stuff. Great, thanks, turret. Jeez. All right. Well, that's the cannon turret. Pretty freaking cool. But, uh, yeah, that was that was kind of a fail. <laughs> Crap. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna re-gear here, and uh, then we'll be back. Does it pull up everything? Man. Goddamn. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I did the smart thing and actually brought, like, extras. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, let's drop the gas in. Uh, turn that on. We have the ballista turret here. Let's drop some of those in. Uh, let's just change all the options on it first. So, uh, wild creatures. Let's go. High range. And uh, turn it on. That's targeting that thing. The, uh, what are they called? Uh, this thingy here. Meganura. That's the word. There we go. Target something else. Target that guy. Alright, let's see. Oh. Oh. No, target that thing. Yes. Yes. Oh, it knocks it back too. Get him. 
pretty cool. It does a huge amount of damage. Alright, stop freaking aiming for the Dimorph. It's wasting. <laughs> Alright, aim for something else. Like this guy here. Or maybe that frog or something. Anything else nearby? Ah, oh, crap. This is probably gonna kill it. Hey, it didn't. Oh, jeez, that guy got here quick. Hey, there's two of them now. Oh, God. Quick. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, let me... Let me just take care of some of these guys here. Alright, let's see. Oh, thank you, turret. You are hilarious. Get him! Oh, that almost hit me. Not sure if that would count, though. <laughs> Alright, so that is the... That's the Ballista Auto Turret. It's pretty freaking cool. I like this one. Oh, hey. You're back. Uh, let's... Let's pick this up. Uh, there we go. Pretty cool. Um, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and move these things. Oh, I meant to pick up this stuff too. Uh, that's the button. And then you. Sweet. Alright, let's, uh, let's find some more creatures. Over here looks good. Alright, so... I'm thinking flamethrower turret here, for sure. We have to. It's needed. Why can't I land? Oh, there we go. Quickly just gonna kill this Capro. Cause screw dealing with that. Alright, so piece of gas. Enjoy. Uh uh wrong button, there we go. And then we need to put down flamethrower. Let's put it down like over here. And this takes flamethrower ammo, of course. Uh so we got a uh, wild creatures and high range, except. Is this turned on? Oh, it's too far, isn't it? Wait, no, it's powered. Wait, what? Oh, crap, what the hell? It's such a weird noise. You know, maybe it's not working because we're kind of in like water here. I can see you. Get away. Any more? God damn. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, is it gonna work at all over here? Let me see. Uh, number two. Now, like, everything's not in the area anymore. Now we gotta move this freaking thing. Let me see. Alright. Uh, used up the gas. Never mind. Alright, let's just go over here. We got some stuff. Here we go. I can see Sarkos. I can see everything. We're good. Alright, so number six, let's get one of those on. Number three, get one of those on. Let's feed this thing. Enjoy. That's the wrong turret. Uh, here it is. And... We gotta turn this thing on. Pretty cool. Wild creatures. High range, except. And here you go. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome already. I love it. I love it already. <laughs> oh, man. That is so cool. All right, we gotta get some stuff to come in here. Uh, let's get the Sarko. All right. Oh, he's already coming. Perfect. No, don't aim for the Dimorph. You can't hit that thing. Get the Sarko. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, freaking, frick, like, imagine having, like, like, a wall full of these or something. That was a 180. That's hilarious. Imagine having, like, a wall full of these. That would be crazy. You know? You just got, like, a huge amount of these things just everywhere. Like, man, that would be awesome. All right. 
mini good turret. Let's uh, let's try this one out. So this one takes uh, advanced thingies. What are they called? Uh, let's do this. Do this. Accept. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Wrecked. I like this one. It can definitely get a very, very good range on this. Oh, I just shot it by accident. Oops. How many freaking bullets did it shoot? Wow. Get him. No? Okay. <laughs> All right, so that is the flamethrower and the minigun. We got two more to test out, the trank and the rockets. Pick you up. Grab all these. Grab those. And uh, let's find another spot with a bunch of creatures. Okay, here we go. This is the trank turret. So it should knock things out. Oh my god. Look at that. Get him. <laughs> this is like the new way of, of taming creatures. <laughs> you just use this thing. There's a Sarko over here somewhere. Not sure where he went. He's like right here a second ago. There he is, I guess. Um, is there anything else over here? But yeah, that's the Trank one. That's very nice. I like that. Is it getting them? What's it shooting? Akatina? Yep. Let's go over and kill this thing. I'm just gonna waste things on them. Frickin' uh, Trank darts. Oh, wow. Uh... Maybe let's just turn it off because it's not—it's not helping. <laughs> Is he, does that work on me? Oh look, he's getting the pig. Oh man, that is so cool though. Wow. All right, let's take those out. Uh, so we have. Oh, here we got the rocket turret. Let's uh, let's feed it again. Uh, here you go. Or not the rocket turret. <laughs> we got the rocket turret left, but we got the Sarko coming. Uh, can we knock him out before he gets to us? Okay, he's like, he's he's definitely trying to. <laughs> Let's bring him around a circle for a bit. Oh, man. Alright, let's just kill him. 180 again? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's test this out. What? It was pointing in the wrong direction when it shot. What the hell? Oh, you're gonna blow yourself up, aren't you? Yep. Thought so. God damn. Alright, well, you guys saw it in action before it blew itself up. Um, man, that was crazy. <laughs> Holy crap, it just blew itself up. Are you kidding? Uh, can we pick this piece up? Cool. So yeah, that is all the cool new turrets. That is all of the brand new uh, crafting station pieces, like the uh, converter and the blueprint maker. All these brand new pieces that are just like, you know what? Like S Plus is just adding so much new stuff. It's just crazy. Like they just have so, like we, we just got like some crazy new stuff today that you wouldn't even think that we need like brand new turrets. But now I kind of want those in freaking like normal arc. I really do. Like flamethrower turrets definitely need to be a thing. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see on some of these things. But uh, holy crap, that was that was just amazing. <laughs> Oh man, well you know what guys, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. If you guys want to check out S+, uh, you can check out the mod list, there's a link down below. Um, it's a very awesome mod, uh, I do like it, it's probably one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.